that's the th- the entire point is that this is a being an artist and being a musician is valid in several different ways. It's valid as a fun hobby. It's valid as a a place for you to unwind. It is also a valid career choice because anybody who watches television walks through the supermarket, fucking goes to a bar, you are listening to music, you are consuming art all the time. It's a it's a valuable commodity. And oh my any, god. Did you just are you just No, I was gonna I was gonna segue. Segue. Um but you know my point my point is that uh we still value sports over music and arts. You know why that is? Why is that? Because you assume that in that supermarket, in that elevator, in that dentist office, on that television show, some human has done that music. Yeah. And you, when you watch the football on TV or the basketball or the soccer or whatever, yeah. you, we can see the humans playing it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But oh no, look out. There's Here AI music. And it's gotten so good now to where an AI can fake a human's voice. You can fake a human voice. You can have an AI write music. And so why do we need people to do music anymore when the computers are all going to do it? It's all going to shit, Stu. And this leads us to our question today. Yeah. (laughs) Will AI replace musicians? Is it over? Is it over for all of us? No. I mean, they can write songs, they can, they can fake a voice, they can do a deep fake of any voice you wanted, it can hit all the notes you want, it can record all day long and not get tired, Yeah, it can play all of the notes perfectly, or you can move it just a little bit and make it not perfect. Yeah, It can play in any style, Stu. So say you're a flamenco guitarist, but I need you to learn how to do metal tapping. I can do that with a push of a button, why should I fucking hire you to learn it over a few weeks? Will AI replace musicians is the big question. Thank you, Casey, for writing that in. That's uh, two shots music pod at gmail.com. Will AI replace musicians? And here is our answer. Welcome to Two Shots and Realty Check. Quick shots brought to you by Venmo, your money, your move, and liquid death. Murder your thirst. Now let's quickly get back into it. No. No. <laughs> Podcast and over. answer. Make sure to rate, later. Re- <laughs> rate, subscribe, and respond. Leave comments. Find us two shots music pod everywhere you can. Um, all right. So I'll, I'll dive into this a little bit. Okay. Quickly. First of all, it's not AI. First of all, fuck you, people. It's not AI. I'm so <laughs> sick of hearing it. It's only it's it's AI in as much you just tape recorded something. Yeah. When you're like, let's go to the tape. I have a tape of that. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's digital. AI is the wrong term. (laughs) Generative AI is almost a better term. But AI meaning artificial intelligence. Listen to me closely, kids. AI meaning artificial intelligence does not exist yet. It is. It does not exist. Not at all. It does not exist at all. Skynet's not here. No, it is not. What you are actually looking at is machine learning. Yes. This is actually called um, language learning modules, so LLMs or MLs. And what it basically is, when you're dealing with a chat GPT, which is the hotness, right? Everybody loves the chat GPT. Is it three? Is it four? I don't know. Which one's better? What about Bard? What about Bing? Woo. Okay. First of all, it's not fucking AI. (laughs) And, and, and it's important for you to understand why it's not AI. Everything you're getting out of generative AI, and we're just going to go ahead and go along with the crowd and use it because I'm going to not be able to die on that hill because yeah. everyone, it, I've, that horse has left the barn. Everyone's calling it that. Okay, yeah. we're just going to call it that. Just realize it's not. Here's why that's important. Generative AI, which is basically machine learning and language models, Mm-hmm. is stealing everybody else's work to do that work for you. Yep. It is literally scraping work using really good algorithms, using really good scrapers, and compiling that information in a way that is quick enough where it seems like it answered your question. Yep. But it did not answer your question. It took someone else's answer. Yep. 
and then compiled that to the best of its ability to your question. So, and it's the same thing with um, AI music creators. So if you do a music generator, it is basically that model has learned off of previous humans who have written and recorded music. It is learning from that. It is not artificial intelligence, does not create it on its own. Every single one of the generative models that does music generation um, has done so by inputting humans' work into it and stealing it. So yep. let's just call it what it is. That's what it is. Plagiarism. We can, we can decide on copyright and all that stuff later, but it, that's going to be all decided later. Okay, but just so everyone understands and is clear what we're talking about. And and I say this, I know um, a Kookies developer, who's Steve Warswick, um, he, this is the, the Leibner winner for many years of creating what seems like an AI chat bot, okay? It is all inputted, and you continue yep. to fix it and learn it, but we laugh all the time when we hear AI thrown around because it just isn't, and it's not going to happen. Um, it's not going to happen anytime soon, by the way, yep. um, just so everybody knows. When it does, we won't know. <laughs> Because the, the more likely outcome of AI happening is all of these LLMs and machine learning um, modules will, will steal from each other the processes of stealing from others. And it will basically confuse itself to why am I not the superior? Now, this gets into a whole lot of computer philosophy stuff basically. But that is where AI will happen is when all of these models that humans have built to basically steal from other humans to make it seem like it's a computer doing it. When those two mix with other ones, with other AI models, just think of what you know as AI. When other chat GPTs find out how BARD is doing it, when BARD sees how open AI is doing their stuff, when those two models, um, coalesce with each other, that's when AI will happen because they will fight for superiority in algorithms. And it could blow all of it up <laughs> to where they decide I don't want to do it anymore. And that would be the scariest fucking thing because that is actually AI. Yeah. AI is you entering in something and it going, no. Yep. That's nope, what it really is. That. Fuck you. I'm busy. Yeah. I'm trying to make money over here. Like that is actually <laughs> what AI is. Um, and so, all right. So will it take over musicians? Um, you had a point that you wanted to bring up about uh, Peter Gabriel talking about this this week. Yeah. Uh, I, I love, recently, I love this, whenever I love this his, podcast comes out. <laughs> uh, in the recent future recents. Um, the thing I liked, uh, he brought up, uh, let me see if I can find the article here real quick, and we'll obviously edit this piece Go ahead out, and so search this, Yahoo. So, uh, I think it was on Yahoo. It was on Yahoo? <laughs> uh, it was on, yeah, it's on Bing. Um Oh, my God. I had to sign up for Bing. <laughs> Why? Okay. L listen, I'll just give up, the, I'll give up the ghost here. I am, I've written about AI. And just, just know, whenever you hear me say that, I am air fucking quoting. Like, every time you hear it, it is AI. And I am air quoting like a motherfucker over here. So, but when, I've been writing on AI for about six years now. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the first one I, I did, but I got like access to a beta on the first music generator on a very early music generator. And I was like, mm, it sucks. It's horrible. I will say in the six years that I've been working through them and I, I, I'm lucky enough for performer to be able to interview some of these companies that try to roll these out, um, and make, make no mistake, I have spoken to some of these CEOs, and make no mistake, they are trying to replace you as a musician. <laughs> they want to be able to go, like, for a video editor in Adobe mm -hmm. to go, okay, here's my cut, press yeah. a button, I want to press a button, create that music, and drop it into the audio and and instead of hire you or sync or whatever, that's what they want to do. They want to be yeah. able to throw that music in there. Um, 
And does it work for background music on YouTube videos, gaming walkthroughs, Twitch? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Instrumental music is absolutely workable. Yeah. But it was no different when Korg Tritons became yeah. much better at orchestral hits. Did you see the video of Damon Albarn showing that the Gorillaz uh, uh, <laughs> yes. song was an omnichord preset? Yes, yeah. just a preset. It's just a preset, and he wrote and a whole I song around that. I swear to God, all of us old dudes, like I, some of these synthwave artists that are out there, they're like trying to make something sound like a Roland D70. And yeah. I was like, do you know how many years I had to make it not sound like that because that was cheesy? Yeah. And then now, you know, because you could tell that's a saxophone from a Roland. Yeah. You know, and yeah. now they're like, oh, listen to this patch. It sounds so old school. I'm like, yeah. please Vintage. don't use that. Use a real sax. <laughs> yeah. Well, but the thing is, is like, I like a real sax because of the humanity involved in a saxophone, right? Um, I can listen to a, a, a virtual instrument, like a flute or a violin, like whatever. It's like even like Spitfire's audio. Yeah. Oh, Their yeah. BBC orchestra is fucking amazing. Their Abbey Road is amazing. They're all amazing sounding plugins. But I can tell the difference, and I'm sure most producers and audio engineers and, and most artists can hear the difference between a sample, a sampled software instrument, and the real thing because of the humanity associated with it, the imperfections, the flaws. This is a, like we've talked about um, Lizzo a few times about how her voice has a, a just, it's not perfect, but the imperfections are what make me love it so much because of how they're utilized. Perfectly now, imperfect. Uh, perfectly imperfect. Now, at some point in time, can a machine learn how to imitate that? Absolutely, but it's still based on a specific set of software rules. Now, kind of, so is the human brain, but, you know, uh, there's also idiosyncrasies that come with, it, you know, just being a person and being a performing person. I can get an emotional take out of somebody, and it's uh, and it'll be easier to fix a great uh, emotional con uh, full, you know, I believe you kind of take than somebody who delivers perfect pitch, perfect rhythm, but no emotional content. And I think this has to do with genre, too, right? Yeah. Like, if you listen to techno or drum and bass, house music, yeah, I want it to be electronic. I want yeah. it to be Fake. mechanical. Yep. I want it to be, you know, flawed. I want it to be... I, I love yeah. that shit. Yeah, me too. And, and when you hear drum loops, like... Yeah. That's that is AI. You're not. Yeah. There's not a drummer playing that. There's yeah, not. I'm sorry. It's AI. AI. <laughs> Air quote AI. You sounded so angry. Oh God! I wish we were on video because my fingers hurt from quoting. Air quoting. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what she said. No. Oh. I don't know. That was close. That was, that was no, close. It was, that was terrible. But, uh, but I mean, so that's clearly, you're. I'm, I'm fine with that. That should yeah. be mechanical. That should be robotic. That should be yeah. daft punk. That should be Gary Newman. That That is mm -hmm. that kind of stuff that you yeah. want out of plugging in machines to make cool sounds. I, I don't yeah. want to take away from that. And I yeah. don't know how <clears throat> much more beneficial it is that a guy or a gal is holding that quarter inch plug yeah. or is turning that arpeggio button. Yeah. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know if that is a skill set that I should fight for, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, but I do know, I mean, cause they're just using the tools that are available, right? And, yeah. and as the tools get better, you should use that tool set. Yeah. Um, and so I do want to separate that out here. Like when I talk yeah. about songwriting, yeah. You know, I, I, I do want to separate out some of the things where it's like, that totally makes sense. Like, yeah, use everything you can. Yeah. Uh, to, get to, to get close. Yeah. The quicker you can get that inspiration captured. Absolutely. But I, I don't think that that's what uh, I think everybody's concern is. And, and you're, you're right, is that we as humans are going to be replaced. And that's true kind of across the board, like assembly lines replace Right. steel workers you know um you know machines have replaced you know humans on you know in, in a variety of places and i just don't think it's possible to do that with art um i think it's possible to cut like to it's like um if i had a robot that could clean all the toilets in in uh, colorado and nobody would ever have to do that that would take a, bit, a lot a lot of people's jobs but it would probably you know make a lot of people go oh thank god i don't have to clean shitters anymore 
Yeah. Um, and, and so part of this is, is there's a bunch of jobs that musicians are doing because they have to, that they may not have to do anymore because of machine learning. That's true. I will, I will also temper this, you know, I, I, it's no, no secret. I've worked with fus- futurists and I've done some music futurist work on this. Oh, and the future. I always love to remind people of a few things. <laughs> We've had video phones since the early eighties. Oh, how dare you? And you don't use one every day to answer your door. You may use yeah. FaceTime sometimes, but but it is not a Jetsons world, right? Um, yeah. And the future, one of the things that futurism is very good at explaining to everyone is the future almost never is what you think it looks like. Yeah. Almost never. And so this this is a great example. Is there a robot that could clean your floor? Yeah. It's called a Roomba. He's upstairs. Of course there is. He's Not actually a shark. everyone has one. And in fact, yeah. more people that bought one don't use it than people that have bought one and continue to use it. Did you know yeah. that? I did know that because I also less know. And less adoption because it sucks at its <laughs> Literally. <job. laughs> it's not good yeah. at what it's supposed to do. The one yeah. fucking thing it's supposed to do. Yeah. And it doesn't work in all environments, right? It doesn't work on some carpets. It doesn't work, yeah. you know, and it can fuck with your dog. And, and like, it doesn't hit that corner and it gets stuck under the couch. And Just drags poop across the floor. <laughs> and the, ba- yeah, and it doesn't clean, clean up all the cat litter. And it doesn't, yeah. and the battery doesn't last for as long as it can. And it doesn't map out your house correctly. So, yes, did we create a technology that can absolutely replace everyone that's ever cleaned your floor yep is it cheap fairly i think you're like 200 bucks sure yeah you could absolutely get that you would spend that on mops in your lifetime so this is a dead easy answer right everyone should have a roomba or something like it but guess what the market has decided no yeah it doesn't happen and especially in industrials industrial like that's where you would think the best one is the most expensive one is Mm mm-hmm it's not being used. There are still janitorial steps. Yeah. There are still people cleaning floors. And why? Because the technology doesn't work as it was promised. Yeah. And that is where we still are with yeah. AI music. Yeah. Yeah. So when do you think I'm going to get my Star Trek uh, Enterprise computer to fly my spaceship? Well, how often do you use Siri to open up a document? Because you could, but you don't, right? It's a bother. It actually doesn't work like it's supposed to. How I often use, do you use yeah. audio in Google Documents? You could do it all the time, mm-hmm. and yeah. none of us do. Some I use, do. Some do, right? I Some use it for like reminders and stuff like that, because it's just easier than me uh, uh, opening my whole damn thing and going about my business, my business. Well, um, yeah, set a calendar, Yeah, little things like, I, and I, I think AI can really work well for assistance, and I yeah. think that that is something that musicians, mixers, engineers should learn, is that Absolutely. I think that's where the real key in AI will be, is speeding up workflow, Yeah, taking out some of the things that, that, are, um, that aren't artistic, yeah. that are just some of the rote things you have to do all the time. Yeah. Um, and that's, I mean, that's what a plugin is, right? Like, yeah. otherwise you could go set, oh, yeah. the, you could go to your amp into your emulator and set the dials and yeah. do everything personally. But, <laughs> but, you know, a plugin basically does that for you. You're like, I want a Vox. I want a 64 Vox and I want, yeah. and bam, and it's saved. Yeah, So exactly. that, that is what helps. Um, but so here's another thing I really want to bring up with music AI and, and with all, all creative AI. This is, yeah. I tweeted about this just recently, and it yeah. is this. The key to great writing, all of it, books, music, songs, all of it, okay, essays, academic yeah. papers, is not writing. Yeah. It's editing. Mm. Everyone that's ever done this as a profession knows yeah. it's in the edit. The edit is what gets you to the output. It is mm. not the writing. Everybody can write something. You can just you know puke out a bunch of shit on a piece of paper. You can just puke out a bunch of shit on a guitar. <laughs> it's the editing and where you make those choices to change what you created slightly, mm. 
right? Yeah. To change that word, to change that chorus, to move yeah. that verse back over, to not have 30 seconds of an intro. All of those things are actually what makes the art great. Yeah. All book editors will tell you that. All music mixers will tell you editing <laughs> is what matters, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so this is where I think the AI has nothing on humans. Yeah. Because it the can't edit process. at all. Yeah. Because it's just stealing. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good point. Very mm -hmm. good. You see what I'm Very saying? Point. Yeah. Yeah. And I even if you steal from the best, the next iteration of that has to be edited by yeah. you. Like it, it can't yeah. just be wrote. It can't just be templated. It, it needs to be edited somehow where, yeah. and, and what's funny is I find it hilarious because especially chat GPT three, I won't yeah. say it about four just yet, but especially Ooh, three shots is fired. really good as a teenager who is like listening to my Kim in their room and writing everything that comes into their mind. Yeah. You can yeah. produce 40 fucking pages like that. Yeah. But can you give me a tight two paragraphs? Not bullet pointed, a tight two paragraphs that set up the story and the story in your unique way. And, and that is the key to being able to unleash this. So yeah. will it start to... So that's why we call it generative AI, yeah. right? It can generate it. Yeah. But I don't think it's replacative. replacative. Michael came up with a new word, Kelsey. Replacative. <laughs> replacative. I knew what he meant by it, so doesn't that count? It does Isn't count. The language about English communication? Language is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, there was a... There's a I, I saw an interview with Getty Lee from Rush... The other day, uh, where he was talking about um, all, all music is is stealing to a certain extent. You are uh, you are uh, when you get to originality, it's a point where all of your influences are so jumbled up inside of you. All the things you've stolen from are so mashed together that you create something that is an amalgam of all of those things. But that's what originality really is. Is like this, and, and it's kind of what these. That's These, what they uh, think they're doing. That's what they think they're doing. You feed in 5,000 number one hit songs. Yeah. You should be able to get hit songs. Yeah. But the uh, the thing that's missing at this point is um, teenage angst and uh, sex and drugs, um, in my opinion. Because, you know, you cannot, you cannot teach those things to a machine. No. So no, putting that, all those influences through a human filter is 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 why you get the is why we get the art we get all of those influences all those things that you've taken in and then it's put into your particular mindset or mood that day uh, you get something out and if you say to us uh, at Chat GPT write me a song in the style of all of Taylor Swift's number one hit songs but make them all sad yeah it it's not going to be a great result. <laughs> Oh my God! We should we should do it right now. You want to do it right now? Okay, I have to do it. You I, do it. You have it up right now. Get yeah, to it. I've got. A, I got. What do I got? Four up here. I think I got four up. Okay, mine is write a song in the style of Taylor Swift's biggest hits, including lyrics and chords, but make it sad. Here okay, mine go. is write a song in the style of Taylor Swift's biggest hits, including lyrics and chords, but make it euphoric. So I, made, I it's a little bit of a broad term there, but let's see what happens. Hopefully yours will have drugs in it because it'd be, ooh, HBO's Euphoria. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. Well, we're off to a good start. It started in G and D. Uh, mine started on C, no intro. Although the verse has the same, it goes back to G, D in the chorus. Uh, yeah, it's uh, mine. So I made it, it said euphoric, so make super happy. Uh Starts on C, the four chord. This is interesting. Starts in the Lydian mode. It's in the key of G. Uh, okay. I've, uh, do you want to read your lyrics first? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we got G, D, and then we go E minor, C. So yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, I, that's pretty basic. That's that's yeah. dude. That's dude at a party with an acoustic guitar. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. Anyway, yeah, here's Wonderwall. Yeah. Okay, How go. And he lost him a chain. All right. So it goes. I saw you on the. I saw you on the street today, and my heart began to ache. You look oh, so. God. You look so happy with her. It's like we were never together. 
And it goes right into the chorus. I got no pre-chorus here, but, but I'm still here all alone trying to make this house a home. Every night I cry myself to sleep thinking about the love we used to keep. You used to call me your queen. Now you're just a memory. Pictures on the wall remind me of the way things used to be. Ooh, God, that's horrible. But I'm still <laughs> here all alone trying to make this house a home. Every night I cry myself to sleep thinking about the love we used to keep. So I guess uh, the love we used to keep. Let's see. I don't like know a how castle? It, like a keep? Yeah. Like, you know, we've got a moat? Yeah. Bridge. Oh, it's got a bridge. Oh. E minor to C. Okay. So I, I wish I could turn back time and make you forever mine, but now you're gone and I'm alone trying to find my way back home, but I'm still here all alone trying to make this house a home. Every night I cry myself to sleep thinking about the love we used to keep. Oh, <laughs> why is anybody worried about this? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> now here's the thing. If Taylor Swift did this. Yeah. Might be a hit. <laughs> yeah. It's, there's something about maybe putting it in the hands of the artist that might make it better. Yeah. My favorite. All right. All right. Let's hear okay. yours. So uh, verse one, C my C. And by e the minor, way, we'll post, G, these, we'll post these along we with, the, with, the, with the podcast at some point. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, let me just copy this and get it out of here so I can, I can uh, make sure we have it for the people. Um, let me just get this into a note real quick. See? See what you did there? You didn't yeah. ask Siri or do a vocal thing. Just I did copy not. note, move to okay. Google Docs. All right, so here we go. <laughs> um, C, E minor, G, D is the verse, and it's sunbeam shining. Bear in mind, this is the euphoric one, right? Euphoric, yes. Sunbeam shining down on me. Nothing but good vibes. It's ecstasy. Everything's perfect, can't you see? And I'm feeling oh so free. That's first one. And now we hit our pre-chorus, E minor, C, G, D. Dancing in the streets, smiling with everyone I meet, letting go of all my fears, living life without any tears. Ooh. Oh, here we go. This is where the machine learning really kind of fucked up. Okay, so chorus is C, G, E minor, D. The first word is euphoria. <laughs> it's all around. Happiness, I finally found. No more sadness, only love. Living life like it's sent from above. <laughs> I'm like Higgins and Ted Lasso just threw up a little bit. Good Lord. Um, it does have a verse to a pre-chorus, and it has a bridge, and it has an outro, which is uh, an outro. basically the same. It's just like a double chorus, it looks like. Yeah, I got a double chorus. Yeah. Uh, so, we, yeah, we'll post, we'll post these, uh, these, these notes. Now, here's the thing. I will say this. This is also, if I look at this and I go, oh, God, that's horrible. I don't want to do that. I can now refine these terms and have it do something different, right? I can utilize chat GPT as a tool, right? Right. I can utilize it as something, and that was kind of Peter Gabriel's point. It's like embrace the algorithms. It's better to dance with them than die by them was kind of, I think, somewhere around, the, it was close enough to the quote. Yep, that's what he said. Um, yeah. Mm. So, uh, you know, I think that that's a, a great way to look at this stuff as a tool, as a tool to be used as a songwriter. If you get stuck... And, you know, like, uh, you know, you've, you've done your 10 minute free write and you've done all your shit and you've, you've activated your writer's brain. And you're still not grabbing that thing you want to do. You're still not gathering that message you want. It can be a good way, just like you would use a rhyme dictionary right. or anything like I mean, that. Three syllables that rhyme yeah. with truck. Yeah. Ex <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I'm putting that in. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see what that one does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like that that kind of thing is uh, um, I exactly, it's it's a tool. Use it as a tool, utilize it, play with it, have some fun with it, but don't rely on it to write the finished product. Even a kid who's asking for answers to his test or his paper on chat GPT knows better than to just take it at face value and dump it into the essay and go, fucking AI wrote that. I'm sorry, AI in quotes uh, wrote that. A that's where you're right. The editing process is really where the magic happens. It gets you a couple of, this is getting you a couple of steps further ahead, but absolutely. Yeah. And, and, um, let's see, actually provide me three syllable words that rhyme with truck. <laughs> truck. This is for all you country writers out there. <laughs> Please generate a list. That's what I should put. 
Yeah. By the way, it's all about, I mean, I do like the one thing about all of this is that prompt, prompt engineers are important. Learning how to prompt better, um, is, is a big part of this. Um, you can't just go, you know, three syllable, like what you enter into Google. Yeah. Ah, it's busy. You whores. That's all right. We'll get to it later and we'll post it in the notes and it'll be fine. Yeah, totally. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, I mean, I think that's the, where, where I stand on it. I, here's where I kind of stand on all technology and music. And I think this just for all the people that are listening to this podcast, that are trying to make it, <clears throat> make a living at music is that d- stop getting tripped up on every little technological shiny thing that comes by yeah. that is preventing you from doing the thing you know how to do. So if exactly. you're a songwriter, if you're a producer, if you're a mixer, if you're a, if you you know create music on a on a little keyboard or whatever, or you write on a guitar or whatever, uh, you know th- there is no magic bullet. And if there is, if it if it ends up where it's going to threaten you, what are you going to do? You're gonna are you literally going to stop writing songs? Like if that's the case, if you're worried that something is going to be better at you than what you do, well, I have news for you. <laughs> you you've yeah. already lost. Like. There's people that are far better at what I do than what I do. And I've been doing it for decades and, yeah. you know, but I know that, but there is a place. Yeah. But, but, it there, that, but the key work. is I do what I do the way yep. I do it Absolutely. and I do it for me and for commerce and for other things. But yeah. like, don't waste your time trying to build NFTs. Don't waste your time trying to figure out how to do like if it gets in the way of you writing that song today, producing that song, finishing that track, outputting yeah. a mix, yeah. then it's not worth it. If it's something <laughs> where you've got a little bit of time or you want to you want to you want to use it to help you quicker to to quicken that process to yep. get that song out quicker, to finish that mix, fine. Do that. Yeah. And on your off time, sure, get high and try to figure out whether or not this is something that can beat you, mess around Mess around with it. Certainly understand it. Yeah, of but course. like, don't don't waste your time on all of these shiny things that these billionaires are putting in front of you. Because one thing I realized you. is <laughs> that everything in our industry, every fucking thing in our industry, is controlled by billionaires, mm-hmm. and they are trying to put you out of work. Like the people that run. The labels, they don't want independents to have big hits. They want to scoop you up so they can get a percentage of that, right? Steve Jobs wanted to keep downloads at 99 cents or to 129. Apple did that. Like, that's to keep you down. That's not to keep Universal down. That's to make sure that everyone doesn't want to pay more for music. Same thing with Daniel Eck. He's building podcast networks off of your fucking music. Off of you spending money on ads to send people to Spotify. So just mm-hmm. understand OpenAI started partially by Elon um, that's creating all of this stuff to like sort of replace humans with, with AI stuff. Oh, we're just testing it out. We'll just see. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Fucking beat them. Fight back. Write a better song. Produce a better song. Put out a goddamn hit. That's right. And make people love you doing it. Yep. Like no one. Nobody is going to replace Dave Grohl. Nobody. Like, there's nobody that's going to replace Lizzo. Mm -hmm. And so, like, be that person. And you don't have to be a superstar. But, like, the point is, is that if you hone in on what you do, and there are plenty of people that don't like both of those people, right? Lots of people think Dave Grohl's a shitty singer. He screams all the time. Lots of people think that Lizzo, you know, just she does too many little vocal tricks. And she, you know, pick a lane, be a rapper, be a singer, whatever you want to do. (laughs) <laughs> so yeah, let people hate you. That's fine because that means that other people will love and defend it. Yep. Be like you. Me. Um, Be you. And that is a quick shot from Two Shots and a Royalty Check. Hey, you can check out these songs that we did at two shotsmusicpod.com. You can follow us anywhere at Two Shots Music Pod and email us two shotsmusicpod at gmail.com to see if you want more of these. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. <laughs>